this video is going to show you what happens when the Air Force pays an invoice. You will receive an email letting you know that credit card information is in the portal. So you'll log in. You'll go to online services and manage invoices. The first screen that pops up under the status is pending review. These are invoices that have been submitted, but they have not been approved for payment. So you will go to process and hit search. This pulls up every invoice that has ever been created and paid. Now you'll notice over here to the right, you'll see the triangle. That invoice is ready for payment, but the card has not been ran and the receipt has not been uploaded. Once the card has been ran and it's been uploaded, you'll see a check mark beside the invoice number. So you'll click on the invoice you need to run the credit card for. This shows you the students that are on the invoice and you'll click on the payment tab. Now here, sometimes they will enter the credit card number here. But you'll download the authorization letter in PDF form and print out. Here you will have your credit card number. Now you'll notice on this particular one, it's all ones. This one, the Air Force is waiting on paying it. Um, otherwise, it would have a credit card number with your expiration date and your amount. So you'll run the credit card. Once the credit card's been ran, you'll go into cash receipts. And you'll enter in the students that are in that particular invoice. And you need to keep the invoices if you have a couple that same day in separate batches. So after you enter the information into cash receipt, you'll need to go back to the portal and you'll enter in the authorization code that is on the receipt. On the receipt, it says approved code. So you'll enter in that code You'll do it twice, and then the authorization date is the date you ran the card. And then you'll select the file where you scan the receipt, and you'll click Upload. Once you upload it, it will say up here, Upload Successful, and then you'll be able to go back to your Manage Invoices and see that it has the check mark beside it. And that is all you have to do to pay an invoice.